Well, she made us laugh with classics like The Wood and The Brothers, and now she's back on the big screen in a new film with Hilary Swank. Joining us is actress Tamala Jones to talk about her new project, dynamic career, and iconic roles. I'm a super fan of hers. We thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. Of course. Well, first, let's get into your latest project, Ordinary Angels. Set the scene for us. Ordinary Angels is a faith-based movie. It's based on a true story. It's about this family, uh, the Schmidt family. Ed, he has just lost his wife to a rare liver disease, and now he's found his daughter has the same rare liver disease, and it's a rush to the countdown to save this little girl. His bills are through the roof, his donor bills from the wife and from the baby, and they're threatening to take the baby off out of care if he can't take care of anything. Uh, and um, a reporter writes the story, and a hairdresser, Sharon, played by Hilary Swank, reads the story and decides that she's going to help save this little girl. Oh, wow. And then it begins. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So what was it like working with Hilary Swank, and what drew you to this role specifically? Man, uh, first of all, what drew me was the whole storyline. Um, giving. It was a love story without being a romance. The love was about this little girl and saving her life. That was the first thing. And then the second thing, when they told me Hillary Swank was in it, I'm like, million dollar baby Hillary Swank. <laughs> <laughs> Boys don't cry, Hillary Swank. I'm in. Right, that <laughs> Hillary Swank. Okay, okay, okay. I'll sign up. I'll sign up. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've had extensive experience on TV, in movies, and even behind the camera. Do you prefer any one over the others? I love them all. Um, I will say being executive producer, that is not an easy fleet, honey. So anyone thinking executive producers have it easy, they don't. It's probably one of the hardest jobs uh, trying to keep the peace with everyone and make sure everyone's getting what they need and, you know, keep a, a happy environment. Um, so when you're doing both at the same time, it's a little weird because you're just used to being the actress, but you, you got to have both hats on. So yeah. I enjoy both of, both of them, I would say. Most definitely. Now, you've had such a dynamic career, but is there anything that you want to do that you haven't done yet? There's so much I haven't done that I would love to do. Um, I, I love Beverly Hills Cop, and I would really love to play a character who, you know, goes undercover and ends up kicking butt and shooting and sliding on her back and letting the criminals have it. I haven't done that yet. I'd love to. <laughs> all right. Well, when you do that one, we'll come and see that as well. I've loved you in all <laughs> your roles. Honestly, you are a force to be reckoned with. But let every know, everyone know when and where they can see Ordinary Angels. Please go out February 23rd and see one of the most beautiful movies that will uplift you, Ordinary Angels, February 23rd. Um, it is magical. It, it brought me to tears, and it's an emotional roller coaster, and it, it's well worth every moment you spend watching it. Also, if you don't mind, I'd like to add, if anyone wants to help out and donate, um, we have ordinaryangels.movie. If you can donate $1, we turn that $1 to $100. We are raising money. $10 million is our goal to help any families that have had any organ donor issues and cannot pay their bills. We want to pay those bills off for you. Wow, what a wonderful cause to add to what sounds like an amazing movie. And I love how you described it. It's a love story without being about romance. We don't get enough of that. Yes, and it's based on a true story. So I really hope yeah. it inspires people to be more giving to uh, reach out to their communities more and really just check on your people. You know, you never know who needs what. And a lot of people are not comfortable asking for help. So I just, I hope everybody learns to be a lot more neighborly. Well, I can't <laughs> wait to see the movie and we thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me.